is New Mexico United in the all black kits. Memphis in the all white. And we're underway here from Albuquerque. This is a side here, Chris, that have they've been one of the best sides at home in the championship this season. They've taken 11 victories out of 15 home matches so far. So this one goes in and early it's Memphis striking just two minutes in. And it looks to be John Baccaro, the former Phoenix Rising man, putting Memphis 901 FC up early here at the lab. And that's his first goal in just his 10th appearance for Memphis. Unbelievable start here for Memphis 901. And it's interesting just noticing that Lapa, we were talking about him dictating the midfield in the pregame. He started on the educationplan.com. Yeah, early on, you can see Stephen Glass and the, and the coaching staff. Are, you know, Stephen Glass not on the sideline today, but Hernandez still in possession, and Hernandez just sends that ball wide. And you can see he's throwing a little, um, little curve ball at New Mexico United. Basically. He and Derek coming together there to make the play defensively. What a move there. I think that was Noe Mesa. It's a couple of times where Nanan Hosu has done really well defensively. There was one in the 18 yard box a few moments ago where he got nutmegged and could have bit and would have been so easy to give away a foul. And then again, there, full flight on the left hand side and does well to defend it. Cross goes in. Hurst with the flick in New Mexico. Have even things up here 20 minutes in. It's Greg Hurst finding his 12th of the season. And the lab has erupted here. Just seemed like it came kind of out of nothing. Jacobo Reyes did really well to keep the ball in play on the right-hand side. And he's given pretty much the freedom of Isotope Park. To help out kids back in his home country. It's always incredible, Chris, when you see players that have an impact off the field. That's Memphis looking for an opportunity. And the shot, and it squeaks through. And Memphis have taken the lead. It's Cariaga putting the visitors on top. And the Argentinian has scored his eighth goal of the campaign. He just said that this was turning into a shootout. And... You know, watching it develop, Carriaga has been the one from midfield who's been given the license to join Vaquero up, up, up top and really become that second forward. And at full pace, so Kale and Ryden, he did everything. Two assists on two Memphis goals in that first half. Yeah, and he wasn't the central midfielder in the first half. I think that's been part of the key as well. Here's Reyes lays it back. Hernandez. And he didn't quite get the contact that he needed on that one. Kale gives the signal and chips it in. Looking back post Maples. Going for Hurst and perhaps one too many headers as it's now cleared out of the 18-yard box. Here's Hosu. Hosu, shot attempt blocked. Bailey now. And just didn't quite have the pace on that one. Marlin, the 29-year-old. Turchi, 28. Turchi, he's no stranger to scoring against New Mexico, Chris. Give some different different looks out wide as well, but yeah, there just needs to be something different going into the final stages of, of the game here, or you can only see one winner. Turchi works his way past, and Memphis have scored a third here, 63 minutes in. It's the substitute. Lucas Turgi, and he scores against New Mexico for the second time this season. What a strike that was. Turgi just picks up the ball in midfield, stepping out from the back three, and with his left foot, unleashes an absolute thunderbolt. I think maybe Tambaka saw it late as well, and bounced and had so much power on it, and just finds the bottom corner, and it was placed so well for such a distance as well. Absolutely unbelievable strike. Turchi, and so four substitutes coming in now for Eric Quill as he looks to add some offense here 
to this black and yellow side, you've got Avion Flanagan, Sergio Rivas, Marco Micheletto, and Marlon Vargas all coming in here. Bruce. Eric Tattersall wags his finger and we play on. What a performance here tonight from Memphis. It's really felt like they've been in control for the entirety of this match. Yeah, and it's testament that the way they're set up. Like right now, they haven't got possession, but they still feel like they're in control. Marlin with the touch on. Vargas gets it back. Vargas rattles the crossbar. As Micheletto heads back over another Topo Chico hard seltzer corner kick. That time, cross went straight in, dealt with by Marlin. Osu able to connect with Maples, and what a save there from Tyler Derrick. Taking the ball of his chest in there. Just popping the ball in there. But yeah, what a great save by Derek. Looking back post. Oh, and Vargas has pulled one back for New Mexico. It's his first goal in black and yellow. And New Mexico have a lifeline here in second half stoppage. What a way to score your first goal in black and yellow there for Marlon Vargas. Possession given away there on the sideline. And so throw in here and an interception from Flanagan. He goes down. He's fouled. And a Fiesta Auto free kick coming up here for the black and yellow. That was a... Uh staff member up here from uh, Memphis and he's not happy right now he's kicking every single ball I think everyone in the stadium right now is back in this game off the free kick right in at the back post off of the post still bouncing around Bruce has a go he goes down it's eventually cleared out Osu hits it long dealt with by Sissoko here's Maples he finds Seymour cross goes in Kalen right in and it just misses the captain with a golden opportunity. And that is the full-time whistle here at the lab. Memphis, with a victory, have secured a home playoff match. What a match we just saw unfold right before our eyes, Chris. It's going to be hard, but I need your thoughts on it. 